William Hogarth, 1697 to 1764, was an English painter, printmaker, pictorial satirist, social critic and cartoonist, and is perhaps best known for his series A Harlot's Progress and A Rake's Progress. Hogarth was born in London to a lower middle class family. In his youth he took up an apprenticeship as an engraver. His father was at one time imprisoned in lieu of outstanding debts, an event that is thought to have informed Hogarth's satirical work. Hogarth was by far the most significant English artist of his generation. The essayist Charles Lamb deemed Hogarth's images to be books filled with the teeming, fruitful, suggestive meaning of words. Other pictures we look at, his pictures we read. The scene is set in a small garret, sparsely furnished by a few pieces of crude furniture. The room is poorly kept. Hogarth underlines the poverty of the family. A poet sits on the end of his bed in his nightgown, quill in hand, scratching his head. A copy of Edward Bish's The Art of English Poetry, a guide to composition published in 1702, lies open on the table. A copy of Pope's satirical Grub Street Journal lies on the floor near his feet. To his right sits his wife, darning the clothes on her lap. A cat sits on the floor, while a crying infant goes unattended in the only bed. By the open door, an angry milkmaid demands payment for milk, underlining the poet's inability to provide for his family without a proper job. The cupboard stands open and empty, save for a mouse. Near the door, a dog steals the last of the family food from a plate. The poet's selfishness is hinted at by the presence of his pipe and tobacco on the windowsill, a mug of beer sitting on a chair in the back of the room, the lace cuffs drying by the fire, his ill-fitting wig, and his sword lying at his feet. It seems that despite his family circumstances, he refuses to forego his own personal pleasures and effects. The scene shown in The Distressed Poet was probably inspired by Alexander Pope's satirical poem, The Dunciad. The painting and early states of the print include a quotation from Pope's work. Studious he sat with all his books around, sinking from thought to thought a vast profound, plunged for his sense but found no bottom there, then wrote and floundered on in mere despair. The bill stuck to the wall above the poet's head originally featured a reference to Pope in which he was punningly mocked as His Holiness Pope Alexander, depicting an ape wearing a papal tiara with an ass as his prime minister. The initial state of the print kept the quotation but replaced the genuine bill with a representation which appears to have been entirely invented by Hogarth rather than copied from a real bill of Pope clashing with Edmund Curl over the unauthorized publication of the poet's correspondence. This print is an extremely rare edition, second state, de facto first edition, by and after William Hogarth, prior to the title being added to the plate, but with the lines from Alexander Pope's Dunciad used as a caption. <laughs>